that in the default mode, Nikon hides many of the D80's menu options. Now it might make sense to hide seldom used menus, but that's not the best way to get to know the camera. So let's go ahead and change the way the camera displays the menus. Press the menu button, use the arrow buttons to navigate to the setup menu page, highlight CSM setup menu, and select it by pressing OK. Now we see that there are three menu display options. Simple is the default camera setting, and like I said, it causes the camera to hide a lot of the menus so you can't even see them listed. That's okay for the menus that rarely get used, but it makes finding some menus that you might want to use frequently much more difficult. Full, as the name implies, makes the camera show every menu all of the time. Now that might be fine for someone who changes all of the menus frequently, but personally, I don't need to see a bunch of menus I'll rarely if ever use. That's why the third option, My Menu, is my recommended choice. My Menu lets me choose which items the camera displays on each page of the playback, shooting, custom setting, and retouch menus. This is a great feature of the D80, and I love it. Here's how it works. Choose My Menu by pressing the OK button, and then scroll down to one of the five choices. For this example, I'm going to choose to customize the setup menu. I've already set the correct time on my camera, so I'm going to uncheck the world time menu by pressing the OK button. I don't need to see that menu anymore. My video mode won't ever need changing, so I'll uncheck that. I only speak English, so I can hide the language menu. I don't plan on using the USB cable to connect my camera to a computer or printer, so it can be unchecked and the rest of the menus are already unchecked, so let's leave them that way. To lock in my choices, I highlight Done and press the OK button. If I wanted to, I could go ahead and customize the other menus as well, but let's just press OK again to finish up. Now, notice that there are only four menus shown on the Setup menu page, instead of seven that would have been shown with the simple setting or 15 that would have been shown with the full setting. Now the camera is going to be much easier to work with, and if I ever find that I do want to change one of the hidden menus, it's easy enough to show them again. For more great digital photography tips, be sure to check out www.larkbooks.com digital. Thank you for watching, and have fun shooting.